Good evening, Team Mead. I'm Colonel Eric Sprague, your garrison commander. Welcome to the Fort Meade Town Hall update on testing for lead-based paint. You may have seen recent media reports regarding potential lead exposure in Army housing. First, the Army, Installation Management Command, and your garrison are committed to providing a safe and secure environment at Fort Meade. The safety and health of our service members, the civilians, and their families is paramount. The Army is going above and beyond current requirements to better ensure the safety of our soldiers and their families. We have developed and are executing enhanced protocols for screening the interiors of homes, sampling potable tap water, and testing soil samples to identify, mitigate, and correct potential hazards. We're aware some families have expressed concerns about potential risks in post housing. I'm here tonight with my battle buddy, Command Sergeant Major Brian Cullen, along with rep representatives from our housing partner, Corvius, the Director of the Public Works, the Staff Judge Advocate, and Public Health Command. We're here to respond to your questions about lead, the potential hazards, environmental impacts, and any associated health risks. The risk at Fort Meade is low, in part because our housing areas and schools have been routinely inspected as we continue to adhere to federal and Army guidelines as well as Maryland's comprehensive environmental regulations. Service members, civilians, and their families are our most valuable assets, and we will continue to do everything we can to ensure the safety and health standards are upheld to the highest degree here at Fort Meade. Please review the slide deck we have posted on Facebook page along with the frequently asked questions. Both documents provide more details regarding the issue. This is a complex effort that we will take time to complete as any remediation effort must be taken on a case-by-case -case basis, house-by-house -house basis. In addition, while we're talking about safety, I'm sure you're tracking Hurricane Florence. Like everyone else, fortunately it looks like the most damaging portions of the storm will miss our region, but we are expecting significant amount of rain and sustained winds, which could lead to flooding and downed trees. I urge you to be prepared. We have posted information on the Fort Meade app and the safety page on the Fort Meade website. Again, welcome to the town hall. Please post your questions to this thread. Our team is standing by to answer your questions.